Greetings, everyone. Hi, this is Pastor Song Bay from Lighthouse Global. Uh, this is a broadcast for the monthly prophetic word for month of December 2021. I just want to wait a little bit to welcome you. Um, I did make an announcement that I'm going to be on. I hope I'm in the right timing. So let's pray as we wait for people. <laughs> Jesus, 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 oh, Jesus, 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 yes, Jesus loves me. Presence of God, just come and fill. Yes, Jesus loves me. The Bible tells me so. Hi, everyone. It's great to see you. Um, I was just singing along with the background music because I just heard it. But uh, welcome, welcome to the monthly prophetic word for December uh, 2021. So this is the title of this word. Since this morning, God has been giving me this very strong phrase. And um, it was this. This is where it ends. This is where it ends. And so the title of it, I'm going to title it like this. A final closure. This is where it ends. And the Lord said, um, this is where it ends. And I'm going to read this verse because even in this chapter and this verse, it's just so much. Um, added uh, just I feel like there's so much message hidden in this word uh, the, the month uh, the the Bible verse for this month is this Joel 3 9 to 16 welcome welcome it's great to he see you yes uh, everyone welcome Joel 3 9 through 16 proclaim this among the nations prepare for war right rouse the warriors let all the fighting men draw near and attack Beat the plowshares into swords and your pruning hooks into spears. Let the weakling say, I am strong. Come quickly, all the nations from every side, and assemble there. Bring down your warriors, Lord. Let the nations be roused. Let them advance into the valley of Jehoshaphat. For there, there I will sit to judge all the nations on every side. Swing the sickle, for the harvest is ripe. Come trample the grapes, for the wine press is full, and the vats overflow. So great is their wickedness. Amen. Amen. Uh, multitudes, multitudes in the valley of decision. For the day of the Lord is near in the valley of decision. The sun and moon will be darkened and the stars no longer shine. The Lord will roar from Zion and thunder from Jerusalem. The earth and the heavens will tremble, but the Lord will be a refuge for his people, a stronghold for the people of his people of Israel. Joel, Joel 3, 9 through 16. So this is the word that I have for you. And actually, the, 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 the verse that was really highlighted. Good morning, everyone. It's great to see everybody. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Uh, the verse that was highlighted was this. Multitudes, multitudes in the valley of decision. For the day of the Lord is near in the valley of decision. And I, I want you to respond if these words do resonate. The Lord said December. This morning he said very strongly, this is where it ends. I really believe that this month, this is what's going to happen. Number one, a line is being drawn in the sand. I just saw a line being drawn in the sand this month. God is preparing us for war. And it's just like what it says. I really hear a call of the Lord calling all of us whether you consider yourself a warrior or not it doesn't really it doesn't really matter what's really being highlighted in Joel 2 or Joel 3 here it's just this proclaim among the nations prepare for war and I really feel that this is this whole chapter is really the literally the now word that God is speaking to you and I and he's calling us to prepare for what's coming and he's telling us that we need to rouse the warriors if you're a warrior say yes and amen and let all fighting men draw near and attack we need all people to come and fight and uh it's a time when I believe that um December will be a uh transition into building an army of the Lord it'll be a month when many will um, decide many will decide um, and what really was um, kind of uh, highlighted was beat your plowshares into swords and your pruning hooks into spears isn't that interesting what God is saying is uh, we're entering into a time where we need to use everything and anything that we have in our hands 
to turn it into a weapon, turn it into a, 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 a weapon for war. Um, that's the time that I'm in. And I hear a lot of you who feel very weak. And I love this verse. Let the weakling say, I am strong. And I really feel that God has strengthened the army of the Lord. How many of you have been feeling extremely weakened by the continual warfare and battle? How many of you have been feeling like you were completely exhausted? It's like you've been hearing this war cry and you knew that you had to say yes and amen. But a lot of, a lot of you have been exhausted and myself too. But I hear the Lord saying... Let the weakling, if that's you, God is saying, say to yourself, I am strong. Repeat after me. I am strong in the name of the Lord. I can do all things through Christ Jesus who strengthens me. God is saying that you are to rise up and say, I am strong. And verse 11, it says, come quickly, all you nations from every side and assemble there. Bring down your warriors, Lord. So that is the cry of our hearts. And in a way, like, it's interesting because, um, I'm, you know, a lot of times when I do these uh, monthly words or prophetic words, I only have a skeleton of what I feel like God is speaking. And then as I release the word, God gives a now word. And I, there's a spirit of prophecy that's upon the broadcast. And I give you a now word. But I really feel that God is saying, um, He's gathering the nations together, and I think that uh, December 10th, you know that we have the uh, Lighthouse Annual Conference. Listen, I told you, I never really do anything like this, and when I was deciding, trying to decide whether or not I'm going to go ahead with this conference, honestly, there were a lot of doubts in my mind, obviously because of the restrictions of COVID and different things. I didn't have a whole lot of faith, and I actually was really tempted to postpone it because um, December is just not a good month to uh, do anything to gather. One, because it's Christmas because everyone's you know busy it's not necessarily the most favorable month to do anything but I really felt like God said no you have to move quickly and you know the Lord's been just uh, impressing upon my heart that we're in a season of urgency that um, we need to do things quickly we need to decide quickly and so that is why um, I wanted to postpone it but then I said okay no I'm just gonna book it for December we're gonna go ahead with December because something is up you know something is up and I really feel that that is what God is saying God is saying Come quickly, all the nations, all you nations from every side and assemble. And God is calling the nations to assemble, to bring down warriors, because there is a global crisis right now all around the world. And it's a global crisis uh, against the red dragon, against the spirit of control, against the spirit of wickedness, against the evil agendas, against uh, the antichrist spirit that is at the end of all of this, it is to uh, shut down churches, it is to persecute uh, Christians, and you know, um, that that's, you know, they're after you, if you're a Christian, the, the enemy's after you. And so we have to wake up because uh, you can't just read the news about other nations and say, oh, that's so unfortunate, you know, we live in this great land of freedom and land of America. No, your freedom is being taken out, you know, taken away in a second and there are things that are happening behind your back and i know a lot of you are struggling listen i've been warning you i've seen signs of this in south korea for years and uh you know we just we're in a time when we need to be smarter than the devil we need to be brighter than the devil we need to be more faster than the enemy we need to be more uh like shrewd as a snake but innocent as doves we need to be more pure we need to be equipped we need to be excellent you know, we need to be excellent. We need to be better. We need to be greater. We need to be uh, more studied. We need to know things. We need to get the truth information. We need to just be better, you all. And so I just want to, um, I just want to encourage you to, to to pursue that in Jesus' name. So God is saying, uh, be quicker. You know, be be more advanced. Train yourself learn more take every opportunity we need to get better in jesus name so um i really feel that number one i like i said god is saying a line is being drawn in the sand god is preparing for us for war so you know uh that is the word i saw a line being drawn in the sand and the lord saying are you go who's take whose side are you going to take are you going to be on the lord's side or are you going to be wishy-washy and be on the enemy's side number two what i saw was heaven's verdict is coming down i heard heaven's verdict coming down so i saw decisions from the heavenly courts that are being released upon the earth and being executed so this is what i sense this is what i sense i sense that in the heavenly courts your case was already heard the heavenly courts have been very busy for a while. How many of you have some some court cases? How many of you have some 
false accusations? How many of you have some cases and situations in your life where you need justice? You know, how many of you know that the earth has been groaning for justice? I know I have been. You know, I feel like my court case in heavenly realm, my case in heavenly uh, court courtroom is uh, not being vindicated as a woman and being always attacked. Listen, when I was going through a very tough time in ministry a few years back, um, I went to the courtroom of heaven and um, I was just being attacked by people that are very close to me and every time I'm trying to obey the Lord there's heavy attack against me and I went to this prayer meeting and I, I, I went to the courtroom of heaven and I asked the Lord Lord when we when we do courtroom prayer we go to the courtroom and then we ask the accuser of the brethren to come forth and I need to hear what exactly I'm fighting so I, I asked that the Lord would ask this devil, what, what kind of case do you have against this woman of God or this man of God? So when when that case is revealed, revelatory, I'm talking about revelatory realm. If you're familiar with the courtroom of heaven, I encourage you to really study it. So then in my vision, this devil came forth and uh, God asked this enemy, what is your case against Pastor Song, my daughter Song? And you know what the devil said? The devil said, it's because she's a woman. And the enemy said, it's because she's a woman and she's still preaching. And she's still doing what? <laughs> and she's still, she's, she's doing what you told her to do. And, um, but when I saw that vision and heard those words, it was a revelation upon revelation because I thought it was something else. <laughs> you know, when you're being accused and when there's like uh, crazy stuff happening, attacks happening, first instinct for for godly person or a person of the lord is like lord what did i do wrong is it is there a hidden sin in my life is there a um is there a hidden sin in my life is there somebody that i need to forgive or repent is there some kind of an issue in my spiritual life so i asked because that's i needed a revelation of why i was being attacked fiercely all the time and this devil said it's simply because she's a woman and that freed me completely. Obviously, what happened next was that Jesus came and defended me. Obviously, he was my lawyer. Another prophetic word I have after, hopefully I will not forget this. The Lord said he will deal with evil lawyers. God is going to give release judgment against evil lawyers. I saw the legal realm and lawyers being... Um, I saw this morning I was driving and I saw a, an impression and a vision of how the whole legal system and lawyers were evil. And the Lord is going to take some of them out. Even as they speak right now, there's a court case being heard in Supreme Court, right? So Father, in the name of Jesus, I thank you that a verdict is being delivered from the heavenly courts, that there is decision that's already been made. I'm going to go back to um, my case that I saw in the heavenly courts of how this devil came in and said, it's because she's a woman. Now I bring this vision up to you because um, in that prayer I knew it freed me up because what does that vindicate? It vindicates that God is saying to me, the enemy has nothing against me, meaning um, it's not your hidden sin. If the enemy said it's because she's greedy or like it's because she's filthy or it's because she's adulterous, then I would have to repent. But it was simply because I was a woman. Now that f that that revelation freed me up and, and it kind of like, it was like a big punch on my, you know, it was like a whew, revelation like, Oh, the devil really hates women rising up. The, de the enemy really hates, um, is against women preaching, women leading worship, women obeying the Lord. And it was such a revelation for me. And um, it's, it set me free. And then it gave me a lot of perspective of how um, this defender, my defender, Jesus, my lawyer, my legal representative in heavenly courts, Jesus, was protecting me and how I was at the forefront of a women's movement in the heavenly courts that um, that the injustice and the accusation that the enemy has brought against every woman who's trying to obey the Lord that I'm talking about Catherine Coleman I'm talking about Amy Simple McPherson I'm talking about you know the uh, mothers of faith um, Suzanne Wesley I don't know who else what, what other women of God have been um, under so much attack, but every woman mystic that I can think of, everything that came against these women, it was coming against me, and I could feel the justice and the roar of God. Listen, in this verse it says, 
The Lord will roar from Zion and thunder from Jerusalem. That is what we're going to hear. And the heaven and earth will tremble in Jesus' name. So I really, you know, heaven's verdict was in heaven already. So I'm sharing in, in reflection of my personal testimony. In the heavenly courts, the decision already has been made that Jesus is on my side. God is vindicating my ministry as a minister, as a pastor, a woman pastor, that he's covering me as a woman pastor. That's already decided in heaven. That is already decided in heaven. But for this heavenly verdict to come down, it takes a lot of time. It's just there's stuff that, that, you know, and I feel that in December, this is what God's saying. Heaven's verdict is coming down. That, that the decisions have been made, your cases, God, God in justice, in, no, in his spirit of justice, he has already made the decision for you. The verdict has been made in the heavenly courts, but the decision, the, ten, the decision making was already done in the heavenly courts, but the verdict is not tangible to you because there's so much second heaven warfare and we're under attack. So this is what I did see. And, um, yeah, and so I was reminded of Daniel's story. You know, Daniel 10, it talks about how Angel Michael um, was delayed for three weeks. So Daniel was mourning for three weeks. And this is a revelation from the Lord. The Lord is saying to you that like Daniel, some of you have been weeping and mourning for three weeks. You know, at, at that time, Daniel, Daniel 10, 2, it says, I ate no choice food, no meat or wine touched my lips, and I used no lotions at all until the three weeks were over. So he had a vision of revelation, but God didn't show up for three weeks because, and then it goes on and on and it says, um, an angel of the Lord visits him, right? A, 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 an angel of the Lord visits him and says, a hand, verse 10 says, a hand touched me and set me trembling on my hands and knees. He said, Daniel, you who are highly esteemed, consider carefully the words I'm about to speak to you and stand up for I have now been sent to you. And when he said this to me, I stood up trembling. Then he continued, do not be afraid, Daniel, since the first day that you set your mind to gain understanding and to humble yourself before God, your words were heard. So this is also an hour word for you. God is saying to some of you, you have been in mourning because you weren't sure if God was hearing you. But God is saying to you that your words were heard because you humbled yourself. I have come in response to them. So this angel of the Lord comes in response, but it says verse 13, but the prince of Persian, of the Persian kingdom resisted me 21 days. Then Michael, one of the chief princes came to help me because I was detained there with the king of Persia. Wow, wow, wow. Now I have come to explain to you what will happen to your people in the future. For the vision concerns a time yet to come. So God is saying that there's been a resistance uh, in the heavenly realm for 21 days and some of you have been weeping some of you have been waiting some of you uh, didn't even know the heavenly verdict was already made but I'm telling you today that um, your court case has been heard some of you like seven years back the moment you decided on this earth to humble yourself before God he has heard your case and he has already made this decision but there's been resistance like King of Persia came against and the, the Babylonian system and all these resistance. But I believe in the December of 2021, you will have a tangible sign of God's verdict of what was already decided in Jesus name. I prophesy to you, I'm going to move in the prophetic. First thing I hear the verdict coming down is uh, some of you have been petitioning and asking the Lord for a baby. Some of you have been asking God for babies. Um, I prophesy and release you, if that's your petition, if you have infertility issues, if you have um, difficulty getting pregnant, shuck, I break that off. God says in the courts, it's already decided. Your child is coming, your child is coming. In the month of December, you will have a tangible sign of how you will become pregnant very soon. Either you will be pregnant in the month of December, or God's going to give you signs of, of restoration of health, especially for women. So I release that word. I'm giving you a prophetic uh, release with this prophetic word. So that's the first thing I saw. Babies, babies, babies. Father, thank you, Jesus, that babies are coming for the mothers. Their wombs are being prepared right now. And then I saw I saw a picture of a, of a little girl that felt so rejected. I saw a picture of a little girl that, that had only her back because she felt so rejected and she felt like she had to turn her back. She was living in a lot of shame. 
And uh, whoever, uh, I believe this is the word for a woman who've been living in shame, out of rejection, you felt rejected by people. Well, I see the Lord turning you around and allowing you to be free from your shame in terms of relationships. There's been a lot of shame that made your back turn. And I, I felt like you were feeling like you had to stay in a corner. Um, relationally, you had to stay in a corner and you were... Um, feeling just rejected by people but I see God coming and healing you and the, the verdict has already been made in heavenly realm to bless you relationally so uh, if you've been feeling shameful in certain relational dynamics you felt like people were putting shame on you God is gonna uh, uh, take that off of you take that shame right now in the name of Jesus I break that shame off of women especially uh, women who carry rejection from when they were three four years old even um, I pray break that off and I really feel like even that word I just saw I First of all, I, I saw a little girl that was like three or four turn her back and she actually was kind of heavyweight and I think out of rejection she ate, um, she had some um, eating disorders. So if you've had eating disorders and you're kind of overweight, um, I believe God is going to heal you as he heals you from rejection from when you were three to five years old. If you were rejected between the ages of three to five uh, and, and it caused you to uh, overeat and, and um weight you had weight gain or weight problems or you're not the physical body that god has built you originally i break that off of you in jesus name i believe god is saying you're going to slim down i believe god is saying that um you are going to uh become lighter and god's going to give you supernatural weight loss even through this broadcast so i just bless you and i just felt like the lord is going to uh surprise you and these women that i saw it had to do with also a marriage and and single women who uh, were just looking to be loved and and there was like a cycle of rejection in your relationship with men and you you needed that to be broken off because even men who got it prepared for you you couldn't really recognize them because of your own cycle of rejection and i break that off of you right now in jesus name uh send this video to a single woman who you think that if you have any friends who need to get married and they have problems I want you to uh, send this video, share this video because I'm releasing a now word for December. This is a massive word. Mm, I just feel fresh wine of God. I feel dizzy, which is a good thing. When I get dizzy when I'm preaching, you know, it's it's really like a now word from the Lord. So I just feel such an anointing upon that word for women who are single, who's just uh, uh, have, have been in a cycle of rejection and, and you just couldn't even recognize the man of God that God sent you. I break that off of you right now now in Jesus name God is healing some of you from some deep rejection from your childhood even from your wounds uh, when you were in the womb of God at uh, womb of your mother when you were uh, uh, like a uh, when your mother was pregnant she was feeling rejected by the father and it kind of transferred to you I break that off in Jesus name amen and amen what else, Lord? What else tangible signs will come from the heavenly verdict? Father, I pray. Even right now in the name of Jesus with the Supreme Court case. I really feel like this delay of King of Persia. And that's funny that I released the word about babies coming and women being pregnant and getting married. What I just prophesied to you, it's now revelation. It's, it's against the abortion laws that's been... Um, put there you know right now those supreme court is hearing this case against abortion gosh i'm having a revelation i didn't intend to prophesy that but god is giving me these prophetic words because the spirit of abortion that's like king of persia that have delayed the heavenly verdict from coming down father in the name of jesus kawaya we pray that there'll be an overturning of anything that is related to uh attacking women uh, where there's been false legal things that were set in place that appear to protect women's rights but that actually um break women that actually um harm women father i pray that the, there will be reversals of these things not just what's happening right now in, in supreme court case and i really i released that revelation to you what i saw was there are things put in place on earth that pretend that that pretend and say oh this is how you protect how you protect women this is how you help women but it's all wrong it's all deceived so i break that off in jesus mighty mighty name hallelujah 
Father, I thank you that your angel、uh, that is delivering, your angels are coming. You are, are answering our prayers. That tangible signs will come. Another tangible sign, Father. I pray for a prophetic revelation of what is coming in December.、Mm, I saw some people.、Um, In December,、uh, who were running for offices, like in the governmental realm. Some of you,、uh, God has put in your heart to run for city council or run for politics, you know, in different countries, not just the US. But I saw like po- spirit of reform and revelation coming to those who are called to the political realm to govern. I saw governmental、um, decisions being made. Like in the heavenly courts, I saw God deciding who was supposed to be a mayor of a city, who was supposed to run for,、um, who was supposed to be the, the、uh, leader of, a, of a, a party, or who was supposed to run for city council, or even in a smaller scale, like、um, policies that affect schools, like school board or, or mayors or little things. But I just saw like God.、Uh, God Releasing a verdict, then you will get. If you have been seeking the Lord about whether or not you should run for office or you should、uh, venture into the realm of politics, I hear the Lord saying, Yes and Amen. So receive this as your confirmation. So I just bless you in Jesus' mighty name. Father, I pray for the spirit of Daniel. Uh, like a, God is raising up Daniels who will work in the governmental realm, who will not compromise in their faith. I see lots of Daniels being raised up in this hour. In, in the month of December, Daniels will be highlighted. In the month of December, Daniels will be highlighted in Jesus' name. Those Daniels who are chosen to work beside the king, but those Daniels who will not bow down to the Babylonian system, those Daniels who will not bow down. To the ways of the world, the Daniels who will consecrate themselves and pray three times a day, who will only worship God and, and carry a spirit of revelation to see what is coming in the future and to be a good adv- advisor to the king. Those who are not afraid to go into the lion's den still worship Jesus, still worship the Lord. Father, I pray for Daniels to arise in the month of December that Daniels will decide. This is going to be a month of decision for Daniels who have been wishy washy, weren't quite sure if you should run for the office, whether it's for Congress, whether it's for May. Mayor's position, city council, whatever. I bless you in this hour in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. Number three, I,、uh, number three the third point is、um, in the month of December, decisions are being made due to the heavenly verdict. So I believe that in the, it's, it's kind of along the same lines, but I saw decisions being made this month. Um, decisions being made this month. God bless you. So, this is, it goes back to Jewel 3. Multitudes, multitudes in the valley of decision. For the day of the Lord is near in the valley of decision. God is saying, those who have been kind of struggling between decisions, and that is why you have been in transition. And you know, another thing that I want to encourage you recently,、um, I, really, yes, I think it was yesterday, the Lord said, Song, just decide and I will bless you. I heard the Lord say, Decide and I will bless you. And the revelation I had was there's a problem with the prophetic movement, there's a problem with the charismatic movement, where so many people, so many people are、um, in the valley of indecision because they're waiting for a prophet to tell them what to do. And, and I, it was really, it really impressed upon my heart. The problem with the prophetic, prophetic culture of modern day church is that. You think you need another prophet to confirm things to you. No, God is saying, I'm going to give you the strength to decide. And、um, I'm going to give you the strength to decide. As you decide, I will bless you. Because there, you know, I've been in this place too. You know, I've been in this place of indecision for a long time. And it's partly, in a good way, partly it's like you fear God, so you don't want to、uh, do something wrong or you don't want to.、Um, Make mistakes, and, and part of it is the fear of God, but a lot of it is、uh, my insecurity. And who am I talking to? How does this resonate? You know, how many of you know that you have insecurities? You know, it's, and it's the way that we grow up. And I see so many people in a prison of indecision.、They're, they imprison themselves in a place of、uh, imprisonment. A place of、um, not knowing what to do and waiting for a prophet to confirm. Well, no, God is saying to you that you just decide and I will bless you. And so it really set me free. And I felt like, you know what? There, when I think with my own mind, like all of these things, it's too much. Too many decisions to make, you know, too many things to think about. And、uh, that's how it's been. It has been such a massive transition these days. It's like, 
everyone's just going through so much and um i, I hear the lord saying just decide <laughs> Just decide it in faith and move forward. So make your life simple. Simplify your life in this time of transition. Simplify and overcome your fear. Overcome your insecurities. Over overcome your doubts. And just decide. And um, I really feel that this, this is the word for December. That many of you are in the valley of decision. But God is going to allow you to decide. Decide for yourselves. And you know, making a firm decision... Um, deciding on something that is faith oftentimes in my ministry one thing about uh, I know who, who I am in the Lord and um, I, I know a lot of you might not know what I used to do but a lot of times in ministry there's a lot of decisions to make um, there's a lot of uh, risks that I need to take financially and things like that but a lot of times I found that when I just decide trusting in God for example as a child um, if you're telling, you know, if you go to a restaurant, if you go to a restaurant, take your kids out to eat for celebration. Like if you take your kids to Cheesecake Factory and you want to choose which cheesecake to eat, you want your child to just decide what she likes so you can pay for it. You don't want to wait uh, for 30 minutes for your child to decide on which cheesecake to, to, to eat. <laughs> Am I making sense to you? You know, as a mother, you you your intention to take them to Cheesecake Factory so that they'll have fun and they'll eat good food. You're not going to take them to Cheesecake Factory and ban them from eating the cheesecake, are you? No, you go to Cheesecake Factory because it's got cheesecake and you know that they're going to eat cheesecake. You're not going to take them to Cheesecake Factory and say, no, you can't eat this, you can't eat that. No, you want them to enjoy the cheesecake. You want them to choose which one they want. But what if your child goes with you to Cheesecake Factory and sits there for 30 minutes asking for confirmation of which cheesecake to choose? It's ridiculous. <laughs> that is not the heart of, heart of the, the parent. That is not the heart of, heart of the father. I just want my child to eat and have fun and take it home, you know, have the freedom. I don't, I want her to decide and I want her to be happy. You know, that's the heart of God. And I really feel that um, a lot of times uh, in the charismatic movement, even in the prophetic culture, we just kind of, you know, our, our idea of who God is is so uh, messed up. But I break that off of you. The Lord is saying uh, you are in the valley of decision and God is very near. And as you decide in faith, so there's a difference. Deciding in faith and then deciding in fear, right? It gives God pleasure. It gives God satisfaction. It makes God happy when we decide in faith. It makes God sad when we decide in fear. Amen? It makes... It makes a mother happy when my child believes that I'm a good mama who wants him to, or her to have a chocolate cheesecake. It makes me happy that my child trusts me. But it makes me sad if I find out that he really wanted the chocolate cheesecake but out of fear and thinking that mom was poor that he said no because he thought that mommy didn't have seven bucks or ten bucks right so that's how that's the heart of god and i really feel that this december will be a month when you will make decisions decisions are being made due to the heavenly verdict some of it is going to be a combination as you uh, get tangible signs of god's verdict in the heavenly realm some of you i i prophesy to you that you're gonna have dreams you're gonna have revelation like the revelation i shared earlier of how uh in the heavenly courts the enemy came forth and said it's i'm, a, I'm against her because she's a woman you know, that was revelatory. Some of you are going to have uh, rev encounters. Some of you are going to have dreams about verdicts that are already made in heavenly realm. And uh, because of that, you will be able to decide very soon and quickly. And uh, this month will be a month. Like I said, prophetically, this is going to be a month when there's a final closure. This is where it ends. Father, thank you that this is a month where it says, this is where it ends. The injustice. This is where the injustice ends. This is where the verdict is made. This is where the struggle ends. This is where the um, 
indecision comes to an end. This is where the wishy-washiness comes to an end. This is where the battle, the tug of war comes to an end. Ma December is a month when there's a final closure, clean cut, and God, you're preparing us for something amazing and great in 2022. In Jesus' mighty, mighty name, Father, I prophesy this word to your people. I pray for hope to arise out of every heart uh, right now in Jesus' name. Every soul, every person that is watching, I bless you in Jesus' name. And I know there's been obstacles even against Lighthouse Global and my ministry. Devil, you leave right now. You pack your stuff and leave right now in Jesus' name. Enemy, be, be gone right now in Jesus' name. I, I release eviction notice upon you and I say go in Jesus' name. You've been harassing me. You have been hindering this ministry from going forth for 20 plus years and it's been a generational thing. Devil that came against my earthly father, you will not come against me. Your time is ending your time is gone this is where it ends december of 2021 will be remembered as when things came to an end and a new beginning is starting in jesus mighty mighty name some of you have been battling some generational curses the Lord said this this month is a month when the curses are coming to an end. Shakarara in Jesus' mighty name. You had to struggle with uh, curses that are coming from your parents' generation line, the women, women's line, men, father's line. We just break that off. This is where it ends. Month of December is when there's a final closure of those curses, cutting off of those things. In Jesus' mighty name, you will not repeat the cycle. In Jesus' mighty, mighty name. Shakarara bashi. Receive it in faith. Saints, right now, receive it in faith. I bless bless you i bless you in jesus name get ready for 2022 because it's gonna be a year of harvest and i want to release this word over you joel 3 it says uh, come quickly verse 11 all you nations from every side and assemble there bring down your warriors lord let the nations be roused let them advance into the valley of jehoshaphat for there i will judge the nations on every side 13 swing the sickle for the harvest ripe Harvest is ripe. This is the word for 2022. Swing the sickle. Harvest is ripe. I prophesy to you that you will reap everything that you have sown. Harvest is ripe. Father, thank you that you're getting us ready for a harvest. Greatest harvest of our lives. Greatest harvest of our lives. It's coming. It is being prepared. The Lord is saying to you, swing the sickle. For the harvest is ripe. Come trample the grapes for the wine press is full and the vats overflow so great is the uh yeah so i i prophesy to you that there's going to be an overflow there's an overflow of wickedness and it says so, so great is their wickedness but meaning by that i mean i believe that the the wicked has gone overboard the enemy has overplayed his hand and because of that because of the overflow of evil god is giving an overflow of the holy spirit into the church god is giving an overflow of blessings and abundance God is giving an overflow of justice to the people of God who have been faithful. There's an overflow that is coming. As much as we see an overflow of wickedness and evil and control and evil agenda flourishing upon the earth, God is saying to us, take hold of the flourishing that is coming to you, body of Christ. People of God, receive the harvest for you in Jesus' mighty, mighty name. Father, I receive every good blessing that you have for us. I receive every good blessing you have for my family line. I receive every good provision in Jesus' mighty, mighty name. I receive them in Jesus mighty mighty name devil you make me make it look like you're advancing but we say we are advancing devil you look like you're on the run but we say we are running ahead of you devil you, you make it look like you're winning but you are losing in Jesus mighty name we are winning the body of Christ the Ecclesia we are winning this battle in Jesus name all the nations do not be discouraged all the remnant of the remnant and nations who are watching in every country I encourage you this is not your time to pull back. This is a time of creative reform. God is saying, I'm releasing to a prophetic word. God is saying creative reform is coming. Creative reformers are coming in times of darkness. Shakarara, I have already heard from many of you that some of you are being let go of your jobs in governmental positions. Some of you are being cut. Some of you are being uh, released. Some of you have, are worrying about your finances because you, you don't have a job anymore. But God is saying to you, creative reform is coming i release a spirit of creativity to reform every system to reform the church to reform the government the way you govern to reform farming to reform the banking system to reform the finances shakara in jesus mighty name to reform education in this 
power to reform worship in Jesus. Mighty, mighty name. Creative reformers anointing is upon this broadcast. I release that to you in Jesus. Mighty name. First half of 2022, we're going to see and experience financial shaking. There's going to be an attempt by the enemy's camp to change the currencies, to do uh, manipulate currencies next year. Uh, be aware, says the Lord. Be aware, says the Lord. Father, I pray. It will help us to be aware of the financial shaking that's coming next uh, first half, like from January to uh, June 2022. There might be a financial shaking, an attempt to uh, overthrow the dollar, overthrow the world currency. There's manipulation that's been happening for 60 years and God is going to expose it. I hear the Lord saying there's been a, uh, an attempt to do things for 60 years. There was a 60 year plan going into a 70 year plan. And I break that off. Father, I release confusion in the enemy's camp. I see... Uh, I see a really uh, weak foundation of the enemy's camp and it's going to tumble down. We're going to hear news of things just tumbling and crumbling down. The, the, devil is cr the devil's camp is crumbling down. They will start having infights. They will start having infights. Whatever the enemy is doing, the enemy's camp will have infights. And they will crumble, tumble down in Jesus. Mighty, mighty name. Creative reformers are arising. Victorious army is rising up from the body of Christ in Jesus' name. To the nations that feel uh, they're trembling. To the nations that felt like they were cornered, places like Canada, especially Canada and Australia, because you have been, you have partnered with the destiny of America. That is why you're being shaken right now. And you feel desperate. You feel devastated. But God is saying, I'm raising up a new breed of uh, warriors right now. So I bless you with a warrior spirit in this hour in Jesus' name. People in Canada, people in Australia, do not be discouraged. In New Zealand, do not be discouraged. I bless you with spirit of reform and a warrior spirit to arise in this hour in Jesus. Mighty, mighty name. The Lord, verse 16, says, the Lord will roar from Zion. Father, help us to hear and partner with the roar of Zion. Help us to partner with the roar of Zion a new prayer movement is rising up out of Lighthouse Global. I pray for roaring lions to gather this December in Jesus' name. The roaring lions to unite and come together in this hour in Jesus' name. God is calling you and I to be the roaring lions in the next season in Jesus' name. Through prayer, through reformation, through speaking the truth, to rescuing people, through reform in Jesus' mighty, mighty name. Thank you, God, that you are doing a new thing. I pray for spirit of revelation to be upon every person that is watching this. And I I pray for spirit of uh, revelation of now word right now. I'm just going to release some now words. I just hear the Lord saying, Shaka, shaking is coming. So yeah, I, I spoke some really key words about financial shaking that's coming next year. Every delay is being broken, says the Lord. There's been a lot of you that have been uh, in a season of delay where you felt like answers were not coming, you were in delay. God is saying that the final, uh, like the, the break, uh, he's breaking the delay. Um, the last portion of it, you've been like at the, at the very edge, you've been at the um, very end of your waiting. And God says delay is being broken. So whatever delay you've been experiencing the red tape is being uh, is disappearing right now God is giving you a yes I see a red light turning into a green light the Lord is giving you green light so I bless you to move forward with the projects of the Lord the vision of the Lord some of you had some visions and projects that you had envisioned and you felt like there was a red tape and you couldn't really decide but I really see that um, the Lord is uh, giving you a green light for the vision of God that he's given you since about 20 years back even like 10 years back there's some new fresh dreams that will come to you that you have forgotten about some of the forgotten vision will be reminded to you in dreams and revelation some of the old records I see you looking at old diary and finding some old dreams and old projects that you wanted to do that you put on delay I see God rediscovering it in your life and uh, you just kind of, uh, yeah, God reviving a lot of the old dreams. So I prophesy that over you right now in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. The Lord is also highlighting Japan. God is raising up um, healers out of Japan. I bless you. I saw uh, men and women of God who will, who will cast out the devil of depression out of Japan. I see God doing a new thing in, in the land of Japan. So I bless those who are watching from Japan in this hour. In Jesus' name, amen and amen. 
and will prophesy over California. God is saying there's a divine reversal and overturning right now. Do not be surprised if you see more lootings. I feel like the next agenda of the enemy is to um, bring down capitalism. Listen, the next agenda that we're going to see a pattern is uh, the enemy is going to try to bring capitalism down by creating these groups that will loot these stores. And there'll, there'll be an intentional legal attack against um, rich people, people who have money. So be on the lookout and pray for them. People who are wealthy. Uh, the CEOs. Uh, Father, I pray that you will protect every uh, person who carry the mantle of wealth, carry the mantle of prosperity, that you will protect them. Yeah, watch out for San Francisco. There's greater shaking, even earthquakes coming to San Francisco. So Father, I pray that you will prepare the hearts of the people in Northern California to uh, be really on a lookout and to be a watchman. Uh, to protect people of San Francisco in Jesus' mighty name. Amen and amen. I think that's all I have for you. Some of you asked for a word for Hong Kong. Uh, and so I'm going to pray for Hong Kong really quickly. You know, um, what I see Hong Kong, when I, when, when, I, uh, when I, just now I saw like the claw of the dragon, like a, like a toenail of the, of the dragon, red dragon spirit, trying to kind of scrape and take things off of Hong Kong and, and uh, really hurt people and I really feel like people of Hong Kong have been wounded and hurt by some of the recent events that happened and uh, I see the Lord just releasing healing oil over the land and God really um, releasing healing ministry in the midst of all of this God will anoint and bless those who operate in healing in Hong Kong because people's hearts and physical bodies are being harmed by these claws of the enemy like scraping and hurting people so I just bless you to pray for Hong Kong pray for more healers to arise and, and be sent to Hong Kong as well do not lose hope says the lord because you already have a lot of resources in you the enemy will not steal any longer so i pray for preservation of the wealth of hong kong in this hour in jesus name so that was a word for hong kong god bless you i think that's all i have for you right now that was pretty long i bless you in jesus name uh share this video with people there was a lot on this broadcast so please share this video god bless you have a great uh, have a great month and remember register if you're still interested in the uh, lighthouse global annual conference which is on december 10th through 12th uh, in bradenton florida in christian retreat evenings are open to all people come for free uh, we got worship leaders rappers we've got bob sorge we have an amazing man of god named herman uh, who who is an amazing daniel of our times he's coming in speaking i'll be ministering i've been seeing a lot more healing and miracles in my meetings and i believe bring the sick the hurting you know i believe that people are going to start walking i we see a lot of people giving up their canes and signs and wonders of miracles we believe that that's going to happen you know it's it's not too late to register but registering quickly would help us prepare for the hotels and for the um food so please if you're interested please uh go to eventbrite link i'll try to put it under here and uh receive an invitation i'm looking for the remnant of the remnant the freedom fighters people who believe that we have to be filled with the holy spirit revivalists who believe in freedom that we need to fight and war i mean those who follow my videos you know exactly what i stand for so if you want to align with that and more with us please join uh and come come to florida through eventbrite god bless you um so that's all i have for you today god bless you bye bye